Hi everybody, welcome back to Julia in the Garden. It is March 11th and I am about eight weeks out from my average last frost here. But as I am in Vermont, we still have a good layer of snow on the ground and it is pretty cold outside. And so I am still doing indoor gardening tasks to get ready for the year. My first task today is to work on pre-sprouting my ranunculus and anemones. I already have some started so that I could show you the process. Ranunculus and anemones are both corms um, and they look a little different though. So this is a ranunculus corm. It looks like it has tentacles. It's pretty cool. And this one is an anemone corn. It's really hard to say anemone guys. <laughs> um, and they can come in different sizes, but this is generally what the corms of those look like. It's pretty funny because they're they're kind of silly looking and I mean the anemones just look like clumps of dirt when especially when they got some dirt on them and uh, but they make the most beautiful flowers. I absolutely love them. It is too cold for me right now to stick them outside. I'm pretty sure my ground is frozen and there's a good layer of snow. But what I am doing is I'm pre sprouting them. So this process isn't entirely necessary in my understanding, but it does help you get bloom sooner. So um, what I do is I am soaking them in water for about four hours. And I use a cool water, not super cold, but also I don't want it to be hot. Um, and they will plump up. About every hour, I either give it a swish with my finger or sometimes I will, I will dump out the water and refresh it. Some people will like run their tap so it's like continuously like oxygenating the water, which is supposed to give even better results, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm not gonna run the water that long, so. I actually already started some about four hours ago, so those are ready for the next step. Let me show you what those look like. So here is a ranunculus corm that has been, ooh, ooh, okay. Here is a ranunculus corm that has been soaked. So you can see it's plumped up a bit. Uh, let me see if I can grab the other one to show you the difference. These are different varieties, so I'm, there we go. Show you the difference, it's plumped up a bit. It did look like that one before it went in. And then the anemones, this is the anemone. I don't see quite as much difference with the anemones. I think these ones started a little bigger than this one. Um, but they may have, I mean, they feel, I mean, they're not soft. You don't want it to be soft. That's not good. Um, but it seems like it might have plumped up a little bit. Now that they're soaked, the next step is I'm going to just put them in this uh, tray. This is just, this does not have holes at the bottom. And I just put some, um, it's like a mix of seed starting, mix and potting soil, because that's what I had ready to go. Um, and I'm going to lay them out in here. So I have my special varieties here. This is, these are new this year. I'm gonna use these first. Um, and I, I have little tags. So this is a passion mix of ranunculus. And I'm just going to put them tentacle side down in the soil. So you can see here, um, here, let me show you this one. You can see here is where the stock was and will come up the next time. They don't need a lot of um, space in here between them. This is much closer than I would plant them together in their bed where they're gonna grow. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put this down in a cool space, um, probably in my basement, and we'll check on them every once in a while. We want the soil to be a little bit damp, but not too moist because we don't want them to rot and we're gonna just let them hang out there for a couple weeks and they should, hopefully, <laughs> grow some roots. So um, I did this last year for the first time. I did grow, I think almost all of my ranunculus did grow roots um, while my anemones did not, but they still all grew beautifully in the garden. So they may or may not, like even if they don't, just try any, <laughs> just plant them anyway. And I did write on this with garden marker, so hopefully it will hold up okay. I'm just going to go ahead and put that right here for right now. Let me do a set of anemones next so that you can see what those look like. Here's my bowl of the First Crush anemone mix. I am excited about these. And these ones, it's harder to see where the stock came up sometimes. So let me see if I can find one that's a little bit more... Oh, here we go. This one, the stock came up on the top here. See that? All right, it's a little hard to see because it's not wanting to focus, but this here is the top because I can see the little stock coming up and then the, this is the bottom. So that's where the roots will come up. If I'm not sure, I can always kind of stick them in sideways or just put stuff on top 
um, and it should be fine. See, this one's a little hard to tell here, but I think the stock is probably there on this one. All right, I'm just gonna get these in the soil as well. So most of these have points and the point is going down. Okay, this is another ranunculus and this is Princess, Princess Bride. I mean, how could I not get one called Princess Bride? All right, here we go. Now that those ones are in the soil, I have actually four more. I have two ranunculus and two anemone varieties to still pre-soak. So we're gonna go back and do the step that you would do first, and we're gonna pre-soak these ones. So I've already written the tags. This is a ranunculus eternal bliss mix. Ranunculus secret garden mix. The names are quite fantastic. Anemone Bordeaux. I think I did grow some of these last year. Maybe it was in a mix. Um, but my anemone and ranunculus corms, um, I did save some, but they got kind of all mixed up. So I really wanted to make sure I had this. So that's what that is. Um, I don't want to lose any. There we go. And this one's a day, I don't know how to say it correctly, day cane mix, day can. And these ones, I believe, are the ones that have like the big uh, black eyes in the center. Yes. These corms, you can tell, are much bigger. And actually, these look like clumps of corms um, than the Bordeaux ones that we just did. Cool. All right. Next is pricking out snapdragons. So we started them together in my Sewing Hardy Annuals video. I will link it here. And now I do my next step, which is pricking them out into their individual cells. Okay, so here's my setup. I have my 72 cell tray from Bootstrap Farmer here. And I do have a shallow tray it'll go in so I can bottom water. And these are snapdragons that we started. So these happen to be the bra Madame Butterfly Bronze. Um, it's bronze, bronze with white, or bronze cherry, bronze and bronze with white. So look at that, look at all those beautiful baby snapdragons. And importantly, I have a pencil. This is a non-functional pencil right now, which is why I'm using it for this. So here is how I do this. I use my pencil and I take out, somewhat gently, a clump here. And then I am going to gently take apart the different seedlings. So I'm going to take part, I'm going to take the best ones. I'm aiming to have actually 12 of each of these. I love these ones. Um, if I don't have 12 that I, that are good, like I'm not going to keep, like this is a good one. Um, I probably won't keep this tiny one here. Um, which it just hasn't had a chance to grow as much. Um, if I don't have 12, then that's fine. Let me then come over here. So this is what it looks. It doesn't have a ton of roots right now. I've done this for at least two years now and it's always been fine. So I just kind of make a little hole there for them and tuck them in. And they do look a little sad and wilty for about a day, maybe two, but then they'll perk back up. Um, this soil isn't super moist right now. So I will probably, once I finish, go ahead and bottom water um, just to make sure it's moist for them getting started.
are on the grow shelves. I did already actually prick out a tray yesterday as well. You can see it here in the blue. So, so far, I think that's 144 snapdragons, and I'll probably actually do a couple more trays worth. So I'm excited for snapdragons this year. I think that's the most I've ever done in one year. If you have made it this far in the video, comment below as to what your favorite flower is. It can be your favorite flower that you've grown or that you just like to look at. Thank you so much for watching this video, and until next time, happy gardening.